You may have noticed that all the VI calls actually kill the main player whenever they run on it, but it's not reported to the server and that's what we need to be doing. And if it does not report to the server, guess what? Then the other clients will never know about it. So let's do this. By the way, it's very similar to what we've done for the enemies before. So select the VI calls, go on any cars and in the inspector you will find the VI call collision script. So just double click on it to open it in MonoDevelop. Once you're there, um, as you can see, we have the uh, we have the hit on the player here. So that's the collision with the player, and it's reporting the death locally. But we need to do it on the actual um, server as well. So I'm going to add a method that we've already done earlier. You guys remember this command tell server who got shot? So we're going to use the same one here. And before I do so, I need to import the uh, networking so that I can use the word command using unity engine dot networking and then this becomes a network behavior and then what we need to do is just here we're going to uh, g give the damage but um, what I want you to uh, see is that we're going to use the take damage instead and the damage that we're going to do as a car as a car or vehicle is to do the maximum damage all right so Let's go ahead and do that. So we have the player health, and instead of playing the death animation, we're going to, uh, we can still use the, the audio. So here, what I'm gonna do is do the damage. So player health dot take damage. And then here we need the amount of damage. And the amount of damage would be player health dot starting health, meaning that it's taking all the damage from the beginning. All right, and then the logic will follow if it dies or not. Now we need to report that with the command tell who got shot. And I'm going to put that right below. All right, so tell server who got shot and then that would be, um, we need the player ID, but that, that's okay, we can easily get that. Uh, that would be, that would be the uh, player health Actually, we, we already have the player, so that's other.gameObject, yes, other.gameObject.name, all right, so that's who got shot, and the amount of damage would be player health.starting health. You can just copy and paste it here. There we go. Now save that, 